Bonsoir. Au nom de Fibrose Kiste Canada, nous sommes ravis d'honorer Mme Mila Mulroney ce soir. Les contributions de Mila à Fibrose Kiste Canada sont remarquables. Mila a donné beaucoup de son temps par son engagement et le soutien des familles, des bébés, des enfants et des adultes touchés par la fibrose kystique. Mila a également été très impliquée dans le collecte de fonds à travers le Canada. Les progrès dans la recherche sur la fibrose kystique sont le résultat du leadership des personnes extraordinaires comme Mme Mouroni. Merci Mila pour tout ce que vous avez fait pour la communauté de la fibrose kystique ces 30 dernières années et que vous continuez à faire pour que nous vivions tous dans un monde sans fibrose kystique. Mrs. Mulroney has been a great friend, a great friend to adults with CF. And she shares wholeheartedly in the vision of better treatments that are less time consuming and more effective. It is very special to participate in this moment of celebration and to recognize the remarkable leadership of Mrs. Mila Mulroney. Mom does not like the spotlight, and so this probably makes her very uncomfortable. Sorry. And so we apologize, but I think for her family and her friends that uh, I think that we're all very excited to see her be honored for the work that she's done to be recognized because she picked cystic fibrosis because she found out that on the list of charities that had visibility in terms of fundraising and how well they were doing, the cystic fibrosis was very far down the list and it affected children and that's from what I recall that's why she picked it and she brought it from somewhere down in the 20s up to number two in Canada when she was uh, when we were in Ottawa. Well, again, I, I think it's my, my dad gets a lot of the acclaim in the family, and rightfully so, but the truth of the matter is, you know, it's been full on, full bore towards uh, trying to find a cure and something she's always focused on. My mom's never looked for any type of acclaim or accolade because of this, and uh, I think uh, we're all here today because of that reason. The fact is, we've watched my mom do some pretty impressive things over her life and over the course of my dad's career, but she's never wanted the attention. She's never wanted the spotlight and she's always chosen to be next to the spotlight. And so this is the, I think, the first great chance to honor her for something that she loved doing, that she was proud of doing, and that I don't know that anybody else could have done as well as she did. Oui, ben là, je me souviens, je, à 24 Sussex, je descendais pour prendre le petit déjeuner à un moment donné, puis je voyais dans une autre pièce, Ronald Corré, qui était président des Canadiens, Glenn Sather, je pense, qui était président des Oilers de Edmonton, puis euh, ils étaient en train de discuter d'un match de hockey bénéfice pour la Fondation Fibroschistique. Alors j'ai dit à ma femme, « Hey, c'est compliqué cette affaire-là, c'est les ligues majeures. » Elle dit, « Oui, justement. <rire> » Alors effectivement, elle a tout organisé ça et c'est devenu un succès fou. Hein? Euh, je pense qu'ils ont, qu ont fait un net de 1,5 million de dollars dans une soirée qui était le plus grand succès de l'histoire de la Fondation au Canada. Alors, c'était tout à son honneur. Elle a fait vraiment un travail de géant. The fact that my mom was able to convince the NHL to allow two of its best teams to play in an, I guess it must have been an unsanctioned game, the insurance issues alone would have been crazy and do it all for a black tie affair in Ottawa in what was not in an NHL uh, arena, um, all for charity, every single one. They had an issue with uh, the broadcast rights, I think, associated with that game, and it was a last minute realization. And somehow, mom figured out who to call and how to fix that problem. And for me, and I'm sure for you, CF, the 65 Roses Gala was the big one. Céline Dion was there, David Foster was there. I mean, I just remember all the celebrities and yeah. being so impressed. In and Hull. Yeah, it was, a, it was a great event. So I can think of a great many events where Mila was involved uh, publicly and uh, they were always great events, but perhaps the most meaningful of the events were those which were not public events, but the private events where Mila and, and sometimes Brian reached out to young people with CF who were discouraged or depressed or feeling particularly ill. 
Those were the moments when Mila's sensitivity or her kindness really shone through. And those were the moments where Mila made such a huge contribution to individuals with CF and their families right across Canada. Mrs. Mulroney gave very generously of her time. And at the core of any organization is its people. She was one, really one of the family. The charity itself is a family, and Mrs. Mulroney seemed to fit right in. It was surprising that Mrs. Mulroney was able to give us the amount of time and attention that she did, in addition to caring for her own children, to serving as the wife of the Prime Minister, which is huge. We were just profoundly appreciative. And my mom specifically, in the case of cystic fibrosis, really showed us this charitable, charitable and benevolent side early on, and uh, we're, we're lucky to be able to have had that. It's, it's pretty simple, there's always time to give back. So how she's inspired me is that I just look at how, I mean, I look back and I have a young family myself and I can only imagine how little time she had. <laughs> and it was always, she was always out there, always giving more. And so she's inspired me to do so and, and realize that, hey, life, life, we've got a great life and life is good. So, um, you know, we need, to, we need to give back, especially with our time. So, yeah, she's inspired me quite, uh, quite a bit. And as I get older, I realize how much, how, much, uh, how much that entails, so. Everybody's busy. Everybody has a lot on their plate. Everybody's always out there doing things, but my parents seem to make it look easy, all the while working really hard for something really important. Uh, whoever in CF got the idea of approaching Mila for this responsibility must be a genius because he tapped into Mila's enthusiasm and her leadership skills which are enormous and her capacity to raise money for great causes. You know Mila is a fabulous woman and uh, she has a heart as big as all outdoors and uh, this is an example, an illustration of what she does for people and so it's a entirely appropriate that CF would uh, honor her in this way tonight. She really has done a great deal for CF and she uh, was always proud to be a volunteer on their behalf. Mom doesn't like it. Mom she's does not, not no, like no, it. No, no, this is going to be great. <laughs> this is going to be yeah. so good. I'll just sit back, watch a little bit. You know, it's those awkward moments where, you know, you want to change the channel, but it's still good. So this is going to be one of those. This is going to be actually fantastic. Yeah. We're here for you, Mom. Love you.